Welcome back to Late Night, everybody. Uh, so, I don't know if you know this, but recently researchers in Australia named a new species of insect after RuPaul. It's called the Apaluma RuPaul. Here it is. It is colorful. <laughs> it is rainbow-hued. It's just a good-looking bug. And um, this is really exciting news. I found out that I am also going to have a new bug named after me. Here to introduce it is a member of the Entomological Society of America, Todd Kahn, everybody. Thanks for having me, Seth. Of course. And first of all, I just want to say um, this is an honor. I am thrilled uh, to have an insect named after me. Um, you know, like we saw with the Opaluma RuPaul, naming new species of, ins uh, of insects after celebrities helps attract attention to our conservation efforts. So as an entomologist, I'm very grateful to you for participating. Well, you are very welcome. And with that, I would like to introduce our newly discovered specimen, the Scarabius Seth Myers. Uh, huh. Pretty thrilling, right? The, uh, that's the bug? That's your bug. <laughs> you know, our researchers were beyond thrilled to name this specimen the Seth Myers and honor you and your legacy in late night comedy. So, like, what is, is it, some kind of cockroach? Oh, no, no, no. The Seth Myers is technically a variety of dung beetle. <laughs> a dung beetle. Yeah, you know what dung is, don't you, Seth? Yeah, I know. It, it's we actually call it the <laughs> bug around the office. Right. So you see, the Seth Myers is the first variety of dung beetle that consumes its own feces for sustenance. <laughs> In fact, due to a special digestive enzyme, the Seth Myers beetle survives almost exclusively by devouring its own feces. I'm um, sorry, I, I guess I had something else in mind. Well, you know, Seth, you don't get to pick your insect, we do. Yeah. Just, you know, the RuPaul bug, you know, was colorful, it was just more exciting. Oh, trust me, the Seth Myers is very exciting. It is? You know, for example, it constantly secretes this runny, snot-like mucus, which is pretty <laughs> fascinating. Uh, plus, the Seth Myers is famous for emitting this noxious, rancid odor that has never before been observed in nature. Do you have any idea why that might be, Seth? Is it because it eats its own feces? Hey, that's right. <laughs> You know, you may have a future in entomology. Would I get to pick my own insect then? No. <laughs> now, one thing I did want to add. In order to thank you for your help, we've put you in the latest issue of The American Entomologist, where we're featuring celebrity insects. So here you go. There's Daniel Craig and his blue-eyed damselfly. And there's you, with your dung beetle, getting ready to eat a big ball of feces. So Daniel Craig's bug has blue eyes. It's very obvious how that connects to him. You know, I also have blue eyes. It doesn't matter. I guess I just don't really see how the dung beetle connects to me. You know how you do your talk show at 12.30 a.m. every night? Uh-huh. Well, that happens to be the exact time the Seth Meyers beetle starts its day and is typically eating its first meal, which is, of course, <laughs> feces. feces yeah. yeah. Well, I'm happy to help with a good cause, and I guess I'm honored to have this dung beetle named after me. That's great. You know, ultimately, I hope things like this help people see that insects, they're living creatures like you and me, and by connecting to them, we're connecting to a larger ecosystem that holds us all together. You know what, that was beautifully put. Oh my God. Did you see that? Oh my good Lord. That was one of the biggest Seth Meyers I've ever seen. One of them must have gotten out of the lab. Oh, look at this. There's Seth Meyers who all over me. Oh my God. You know, we might want to clear out the studio because this place is about to stink like Seth Meyers. All right, you know what? We'll oh, be right back. Sure.